Hi, my name is Bob Allen, and I've been a truck driver for over 25 years. And what I want to explain to you today is the process of freeing up frozen brakes on a trailer. It starts here at the engine. There's a thing called the accessory drive that drives a compressor that compresses hot air and delivers it into an air dryer on the other side of this truck. Now, air dryers are great, but they take out about 90% of the moisture. That other 10% ends up in a tank over here. And what happens is when you apply air pressure to the emergency line, that air pressure ends up in the back of this trailer by the valve and it creates ice crystals. Well, those ice crystals block the valve and prevent air from going to the back of the trailer and releasing the brakes. Now, the traditional way of freeing up frozen brakes is you take the icing fluid, you take the emergency line off, and you pour as much the icing fluid down the emergency line as possible. But you need to keep this device in the upright position to try to get as much the icing fluid into the line as possible. Because you want to get as much uh, uh, the icing fluid to the back of the valve. You reapply the emergency line, you go in the truck, and you hit that red button, and it delivers that the icing fluid to the back of the valve. Now, traditionally, you go to the back of the trailer, not forgetting your torch and your hammer because you're going to need it. So we're going to walk to the back and I'll show you the process of freeing up brakes that a truck driver goes through on a daily basis when the weather's below 32 degrees. Okay, now that we've arrived at the back of the trailer, what you want to do is take your torch and heat up the valve that's in front of the tank and the valve that's in back of the tank. But being very careful not to melt the rubber seals because if you do, you've damaged the valve and you'll have to replace it. And once that's done, you take your hammer and you hit the slack adjusters. There's one on each wheel. And you look to see if the brake shoes have released themselves from the drum. Now, if that hasn't happened, you have three options. One, you can pull a trailer as hard as you can, but you might create flat spots on your tires. That's about $2,000. Option number two, you can yank it as hard as you possibly can. You may blow out a rear end. That's $4,500. I know, I paid for them twice. Or option number three, you can make that call that no driver wants to make, and that's to the service guy. He's $125 an hour, minimum two hours. Now, if you haven't melted the seals in the valve, you're in good shape. But if you did, he'll try to sell you the valve. The valve's about $350. Now, let me tell you about an incident coming out of Indianapolis. That's what's inspired me to come up with the brake releaser. I was loaded with 40,000 pounds of freight, and I jackknifed while I was driving, almost wiping out a state trooper. And that's what inspired me to come up with the brake releaser. And let me show you how it works. So now, let me show you how to free up frozen brakes with the new device I came up with called the brake releaser. Now you take your torch and your hammer and you put it in the side box because you're never going to need it again. So put your torch and your hammer away. Now let me introduce to you the brake releaser. It comes in a tool bag. You got a pair of gloves in there and safety glasses. Always put your safety glasses on when administering the icing fluid to the system. There's two versions. One's the 45 version which is, accommodates flat uh, vans and reefers. And the straight version is for flatbeds, dump trucks, and chassis. Now we sell an accessory hose that's separate to add to the brake releaser to get in where the chassis, because the glad hand is set back further on a chassis than it is on a trailer. So let me show you how it attaches. You take the emergency line off. You attach the brake releaser. 
you want to put it in a level position, attach the emergency line to the brake releaser. You unscrew the cap, and you pour in a, a su sufficient amount of the icing fluid into the system. It's normally six or eight ounces. You screw the cap back on. You go to the front of the tractor and you push in the red emergency button. Now by pushing in a red emergency button, you've brought the air pressure to this valve. You open up this valve and it blasts at the icing fluid to the back of the trailer, freeing up that frozen valve. Now let me show you how you disconnect it. You close this valve, you disconnect the emergency line, you take the brake releaser off, okay, you reapply the emergency line. Now, you never ever drive with the brake releaser attached. It's just a tool to administer the icing fluid to the back of the trailer. Now, what I like to do is pre-treat. If you pre-treat, you have a better chance of reducing the risk of jackknifing. So it's very, very important to pre-treat. Now, what I like to do is I like to take my bag and I like to keep it next to my fire extinguisher because it's equally important as a fire extinguisher because one day it may save my life or somebody else's life on the road. Thank you for letting me introduce to you the brake releaser. Have a great day.